Hello, welcome to this next tutorial on TARPUB Linux 6.0.2. In this lesson, what I'd like to go over is some things about uh, opening and saving files and copying and moving files. And um, using your, your uh, external hard drive to save all this too. So let's begin. As we, as, as you can see, I already have TARPUB uh, up and running. So let me just go ahead and configure my mouse to work in the virtual environment. And we can get started. So TARPUB Linux is a um, live CD. And for those of you that don't understand that term, it just means that you can boot it up to uh, the memory on your computer. All you do is download the ISO file, you burn it to a either a CD or to a uh, thumb drive or um, a memory stick or um, whatever, whatever you would call um, uh, an external hard drive. And then you just, uh, you just copy the files over to the, the um, external hard drive or the thumb drive. We'll just call it a thumb drive for now or to a CD or DVD, depending upon the size of your uh, live CD. So, that being the case, you put the CD or the thumb drive into your computer, and then you boot up your computer. And then, um, the CD, hopefully you have your computer set through your BIOS to pick up the CD first at boot. And then once that happens, it'll boot up into a, a live environment. And as we've stated before in previous videos with live CDs, one of the best things about it is, is that you can boot it up safely to your memory or to your RAM without any type of issues or reconfiguration of your, your um, normal operating system, whether that be a Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 10, or XP if you still got it or uh, Mac OS X or, or anything like that. So this is a good live CD for uh, testing out Linux and um, for doing whatever you want to on the go if you decide to. So one of the things that you're probably going to want to do is when you're using this, this uh, live distro, you're going to want to have an external hard drive or a thumb drive. The reason being is because you can't you can open up and create files and folders in P tarpub linux but because it's a live environment and it's uh running off of your system ram once you close this environment and exit out of it nothing will be saved because it's all in ram in your system ram so one of the main suggestions is is that you have a thumb drive or an external hard drive that way you can save any changes that you've made to that thumb drive. So, let's start first um, with an example. And the first thing we'll do is um, we will open up the files for your uh, TARPUB Linux. If you come over here to the icon that says file, this is your file. You go ahead and left click it once. And this is the file system of, um, well, this is the major file uh, file and folder system of your TARPUP Linux. Uh, you've got various folders here. The one that you can save all of your, your files and folders to while you're working in the environment itself is My Documents. So you can just left click on My Documents, okay? And as you can see, I already have a few folders here. This is the folder that I made. Oh, let's go back. It's called Test Me. Now, I just want to show you real quickly how you go ahead and create a folder. So, first of all, let me go ahead and delete this. And to delete, delete a folder, you just right click on it, as I did before. I'm sorry, let me go over that with you. We'll right click it and choose the folder name, test me, and then come down. If you think that you might want to save it for later, then put it in the trash. If you think you want to delete it forever, go ahead and just hit the delete button. 
and that's what we're going to do here is hit the delete button and then this this window comes up and then you want to force it to delete and you want it to do it quietly in other words do it without asking any further questions and then you just click yes and that deletes the folder now the next thing we want to do is create a folder so to, in order to create a folder in my documents folder you would just right click alright you would come down to new choose directory left click on directory then it's gonna come up with this and it's gonna be highlighted right here at the end uh, as you can see this is the uh, full path of your directory it's under the root folder under the my documents folder and then where it's, where it's highlighted is where you're going to name your folder. So for us, we're just going to name it test underscore me. And then you just press either enter on your keyboard or with your mouse, you can come and click on the button that says create. And as you can see, your folder is created. So let's go ahead and open up this folder. If you left click on it once, it opens up okay so now we're in our folder now let's go ahead and create a word document and save it to this folder in order to do that we come over here you, you can see your various icons over here the one that can open up a word document or a word compatible document would be this icon here that says right you just left click on it and the word document comes up and now all you got to do is just type in whatever you want in your Word document. It could be a memo. It could be whatever. Whatever you use a, a, a Word document or processor for, you could use this. And so once, you, once you've created your document and you've made all your changes, what we want to do is save it to the Test Me folder. Now there are several ways you can do that. You can come up here to the menu bar and left click on file and choose save as. Or you can do the same thing by clicking on the save button. If this is your first time creating the folder, then you want to go ahead, you can go ahead and choose the save button. Um, after, after you've created it and saved it, what this save button does is just save all of your recent changes. So let's go up to the menu uh, bar left click on file choose save as and then this window comes up now next to name go ahead and choose a name for your file so let's just say file underscore test okay and then after that you want to choose a place to to uh, save it to and as we said we want to save it in the test me folder so you need to come under here over here on this side under places and you left click on root because it's going to be in the root folder and then you come over here and you go to my documents you left click on my documents you can double click on it and then you come to where it says test me that's the folder slash directory we're going to use folder and directory interchangeably in this lesson so you just double click on test me okay now it's going to be saved in the test me folder or directory and as you can see up here where it says save in folder it's under root my documents test me okay then you come down here to where it says save file as type and if you want to save it as a microsoft compatible uh, word document then you just click the pull down arrow you have several options to choose from the first one is if you want to choose it, you want to save it as a Word, uh, Microsoft Word document. That would be it right there. But to make it on the safe side, also the one you can choose. Let me come down. Let me come down and find it. Oh, there it is. It's the uh, .docx uh, file. That right there will save it to the most recent uh, Microsoft Word documents. When I say recent, I'm talking about as far as Microsoft Word 2007, 2010, and above. This will definitely save it. I'm not sure about the other one, 
uh, with just the .dlc file. I think that saves it to the earlier versions of Microsoft Word. But in either case, it will be compatible if you save it as a .dlcx file. So you just left click on it, and then you just choose save. And now your document is saved. So, and then the next time when you come open back up your document, and you create other things in it, you know, whatever you choose, this next time you don't have to go to file and then save as. You can go to file and then choose either save to save your last updated changes, or you can come down here to the menu and click on the save button. That will save your last changes. Once you're done, you go ahead and close it. Now, you have a, a fresh document that you've just created and that you've just uh, made changes to and then resaved it. Now, let's say that you're going to want to save this document even once you close uh, Puppy Linux or Tarpup Linux. Okay, so what you want to do is go ahead and push in or uh, connect your external hard drive or your thumb drive. I call it a thumb drive because it's about the size of a thumb. Or if you got a bigger hard drive, then call it an external hard drive. Either, either name or title will do in this uh, lesson. So let's just go ahead and open up. This is my external hard drive, SDC1. And just left click on it, and it opens up. Now, let's just put the two side by side. Now, if you want to save your uh, your folder from from Tarpup Linux in the root directory to your own th thumb drive there's several ways of doing it the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and copy it over there so you just right click on the file okay and you go to where it's, it, it'll automatically uh, have your mouse over it where it says the file name and then you can come and either you can choose either copy to or copy if you choose copy to, it'll give you a list of uh, places where you can copy it to. If you see your your uh, your destination or your thumb drive in here, which it does show it, SDC one, okay, then you just go ahead and choose copy. Give it a few moments, and it's in there. All right, now so let's just go ahead and delete this. And then again, you choose force and then quiet so it don't ask any questions and it'll go ahead and delete it. And it's already deleted. Now, the next way you can copy it over here, or if you want to move it over to your thumb drive permanently, you can do one of several things. You can come over here, drag and drop, uh, left click on your, your folder or your uh, file, and then drag it and drop. And then it'll ask you, do you want to copy it or move it? Oh no, okay, it just went ahead and moved it over. So you can do the same thing again. Oh, there it is. You can either copy it over here. If you copy it, then it'll leave it'll leave a copy in in one place and put another copy in the in the uh next place that you want it to go into. Okay? Or you can move it. And let's we'll go over that in just a minute. Give me a second. We'll delete this. Okay. If you want to move it, you just highlight the file once with the left mouse button, and then you drag it over, then you release it, and then you can choose either to copy it, or move it, or use a link, or, or use a link. Um, the links are, are um, this is Linux's way of you uh, copying um, the original over to your your next uh, wherever you want to copy it to and whatever changes you make in one place it'll it'll save it to the uh, to the other file as well but we won't get into that right now so let's just choose move and move will actually copy will actually move it from one place to the other if you choose copy then it'll leave a, a version over here and then copy it over to the next place and then that's how you do that. Now, 
to go ahead and um, uninstall or um, detach your your thumb drive you want to do it in a specific way you don't want to just go ahead and unplug it now because then it won't save the uh, the changes or it won't even save the file that you have on your uh, on your thumb drive so what you want to do is you want to come down to your thumb drive and to properly and safely uninstall it you want to right click and you can choose come down you can choose remove items and this will safely uninstall it from your computer or you can choose unmount unmount if currently mounted or if you have more than one device connected to your computer you can choose unmount all any of these any of these options will do it and it'll do it safely to the point to where all of your data is still saved on your uh, thumb drive so let's just go ahead and choose remove items and as you can see your thumb drive has disappeared it's gone so now it's safe to go ahead and take your thumb drive and detach it from your computer. You want to make sure you do that all the time to make sure that your uh, data is saved on your on your thumb drive so that you can access it again. So I think that'll do for now. Thank you for uh, looking at my video. I hope to help you out a lot and you have a good day.